Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode, a bonus episode might I add, another one. of Smile to Jannah. The wife of Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, has recently made a trip to the Middle East and on April 9th she shared a picture of herself wearing the hijab and credited to the credited <laughs> I'm glitching, hang on a minute, credited and credited it to her photographer for wanting to take the picture. No big deal, I mean people go to different countries and try on the native clothes all of the time. Uh, yes, yes and yes and that, yes. Then she posted another couple of pictures of her with the hijab at the start of Ramadan. Again she wrote that peach is her colour and something about her trip to the Middle East. Now, of course she was probably pandering to her Muslim fans and you know just uh, showing solidarity. Now, another couple of days ago she again posted a cartoonized version of her with a hijab and then yesterday she posted a picture of herself sitting in full hijab, yeah when I say full hijab I mean with the baggy clothes and seemingly in, in the Muslim position of prayer. Now it's getting interesting. Douche. I'm collecting money for boreholes in the Gambia. I got one done myself. These are 100% donation. There is a routine to maintain them and they are the safest way to provide water. I know the brother doing this. Donate using the link below. Those of you that follow the Smith family know that they are very open minded. Yeah. In fact, some may say they are too open minded. But no matter how open minded you are, Islam is one of those religions that you're gonna be like you know what because of the media hate and because of public opinion that has been shaped as a result I don't know if I want to be shown publicly to affiliate myself with Islam unless it's a completely watered down image that is pandering to the desiring of the mainstream it's not going to be palatable for them. You gotta water it down completely such that they can digest it otherwise you know I'm saying digestive problems and everything yeah, they, they, they just can't handle it. And people have also pointed out that when the hijab got banned in France for the under 18s, this was a couple of weeks ago, Jada also near enough that exact time posted pictures of her with the hijab. And what was also awesome was the positive feedback that she received whilst adorning this command of Allah, yeah, this uh, obligatory form of modesty and dress that our Lord has prescribed for us. And look at the comments, yeah, they were overwhelmingly very positive. In fact one individual also said, I wish Muslim women with hijab got the same response and praise as you when you wear it. Which is a fair point to be honest. Now I'm not gonna jump the gun and say yo she's accepted Islam mashallah as a guy have you been praying your taraweeh mate? How many hours are you fasting? Why are you breaking your fast with- Whoa 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 hold your horses yeah. <laughs> we know that the Smith family experiments a lot with different faiths and sits with a lot of people yeah. So it could be one of three reasons that she's done all this. Number one it could be to show solidarity to the Muslim women across the world because of Ramadan and because of the hijab ban. Naturally she's probably heard about all this and she's probably thinking what on earth's going on. But she can't make these political statements because obviously her marketing team is gonna be flipping on her case. So she has to do it through these cryptic ways. Number two it could be to appease her Muslim following after seeing how much they love and adore her after her trip to the Middle East. Or number three it could be because of her trip to the Middle East and her growing in maturity and, and speaking to so many people. And the thing with Islam is because it's from Allah, yeah, it's pure monotheism, yeah, unadulterated truth. Especially when you go to the scripture and not look at the Muslims, you know what I'm saying? So maybe it's triggered her fitrah and her innate disposition, and a seed has been sown, and she is currently watering that seed and she wants to express that to the people. Whatever the reason, we wish that she and other people watching continue to give Islam a chance because we know yeah especially celebrities and whoever you are you know the unreliability of the media and that unreliability definitely transfers onto Islam as well. And we should also realize that Islam doesn't need us, we need it. So 
those of you that are watching that are confused that are thinking there's so many isms and schisms what do I follow what do I do just raise your hand sitting by yourself just raise your hand and say God whoever you are yeah I don't know I'm confused but I genuinely want to make the most of this life I don't want it to go to waste I'm confused guide me please guide me so I definitely ask you guys to do that especially in this month where the doors of mercy are open and I beg and I plead Allah that whoever whoever is watching yeah and whoever is not watching please Allah open their hearts and minds to Islam and embrace them with your love and your peace because we need Islam especially with the age of confusion and mass information that we're in shaitan and the jal the jalik the antichrist system is definitely sowing and making its roots solid in our minds and hearts and we definitely need the light of islam and the mercy of allah to get through this and to make it to the other side you know what i'm saying all right guys let's leave it there until next time Assalamu alaikum